Now let's set up the Multimatic 215 using flux cord wire. Please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Multimatic 215. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. The standard MIG gun provided with your Multimatic 215 is designed to run flux cord wire. To connect the gun, first make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door. Route the control cable through the access hole in the front of the machine. Then install the MIG gun into the drive casting in the front of the machine. Make sure it is completely seated in the drive assembly. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with a threaded side knob. Connect the control cable to the four pin connection. Twist the collar to tighten. While the machine is still off, insert the drive lead into the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Next, insert the work cable into the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. The machine is now set to DCEN or negative polarity. Remember, shielding gas is not required for flux cord welding applications. Consult your local welding distributor to determine which flux core wire is best for your application. Now configure the drive roll. The machine ships with the drive roll set for 030 wire. Push in and turn until the pin aligns with the proper groove setting. The 024 groove is the outermost groove. The middle groove is for 030 or 035 wire. And the back groove is for flux cord. Set the drive roll to the back groove for this application. Next, install the spool of wire and feed it through the inlet guide in the wire case and close the pressure lever. Note the Multimatic 215 is designed to feed wire from the top of the spool of wire. Miller suggests using the optional gasless flux cord nozzle for welding flux core wire. Check to make sure you have the proper contact tip for the wire diameter you've selected. Then prepare the gun by removing the gun nozzle and contact tip and turn your machine on. Select your process by choosing flux cord on the control panel. Now hold the gun trigger and continue to feed wire through the gun until a couple of inches of wire feed out past the gasless diffuser. Reinstall the contact tip and install the flux cord nozzle. Finally, check the drive roll pressure to ensure a trouble-free weld. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface like this wood block and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Adjust the tension as needed. Snip the wire off, then close the side door. Finally, select the wire diameter and material thickness if you're using the Auto Set Elite feature or if you're using manual mode. Adjust your voltage and wire feed speed. As a guide, a parameter chart is inside the side door. Setting up the Multimatic 215 to weld steel with flux cord wire is as easy as that.